Hello everyone. Well, this is my first video where I shall attempt to do voice instead of just text. So bear with me. Uh, currently, we are in the on the Momilani map, and more specifically, we're in my computer lab at the school, which uh, currently is set up actually as a Mistcraft crafting station. So these are where we're going to be putting our completed books. Uh, you see step one, step two, step three, step four should be a completed book. Then over here we put our experimental ages. And of course if you don't want the age, uh, just trash it in there. All right. So anyway, let's head up to the third grade classroom where I will demonstrate what we've been working on or what I've been working on lately. Um, I say we actually because the kids have been working with me. All right. Yes, this is a fairly accurate um, depiction of our school. So there's fourth grade. And here's our third grade classroom. Okay. So you can see in here it's fairly empty as far as this middle space because we realized there'd be 35 students in here sometimes and we didn't want to really clutter it up with. Uh, you know, furniture, desks, and chairs. Uh, oh look, our Promethea board projecting. Uh, these are where the mixed craft ages will be. Probably on this side of the room, it'll be the language arts and social studies. Social studies, since this is the teacher's side that teaches that. And this side will be the math and sciences, since the teacher over here is the one that teaches that. Uh, places here, of course, to turn in digital homework. Uh, and of course, the teacher's desks. All right. As you can see, we've only got one world so far, and this is the one I've been working on the most lately, third grade math. So we're going to click inside of here. All right. I've noticed that most of the time I will get this, I'll get teleported here. So what I've done is I've actually created a default room. All I have to do is change the command block to teleport me. Okay, here we go. Ooh, we teleported into this crazy teleportation portal. Uh, this is a standard, so this will actually be the same portal that kids see when no matter what world they go to. I just wanted it something to be familiar in all the worlds so that they would know where to go. Here's our greeter. Okay, just got a little notepad. All right, this is our, of course, our book back to the overworld. We want to go back. Okay, head down here. Uh, this will also be standard in all, this, all the uh, worlds. It'll be the quest boards. So thank you, Elfie, for... Uh, your ideas here on this and currently of course there's no quest oh and also thank you Eric these look way better the textures for the um, Minecraft EDU blocks okay so you can see there's nothing in here but let's just say that of course I finished this I would have of course my first quest in here which is to do the graphing quest okay oh by the way Ken's over there fishing Ken's always fishing that's my uncle Ken <laughs> okay um, the quest would of course tell you, okay, head east from the town, follow the torches, and find the area. So I could have just teleported the kids here, but I kind of want them to have that, you know, sense of exploration. I'm still not sure I'm going to lead them to everything. I may actually just tell them, it's in this general direction, go find it. So here, as we get started here, before we get started, I'd like to give credit to M. Harvey from the Google Groups board, as I've used a lot of his stuff in here. Um from his his uh, graphing map his wood graphing map all right so the kids come here of course for kids who are paying attention and get here quick follow directions here I haven't put a prize in here yet but there'll be only one in here okay. all right um, the practice building area so what I have planned to do is to have this guy be an item giver so he'll actually give me a stack of 64 blocks of wool but for now, I will just steal myself self a stack of 64 blocks. Okay, what I'm going to expect the kids to do is come in here, just take a pad, any pad, and then practice building. Okay, now the reason we're going to do this is because I want them practicing to build, um, building the actual graphs. So um, I will probably just fast forward this part because Maybe I'm not the uh, fastest builder in the world. <laughs> um, one thing that um, Mr. Harvey has mentioned, of course, in his lesson is you could just have these kid, the kids um, try to explain in detail what was the fastest way to 
graph there, 64 blocks. As I think I've kind of got it, got it down right now. Seems to be working really well. If anybody's getting dizzy, I apologize. Okay, I've added this part. This wasn't in Mr. Harvey's original map. What I wanted them to do was get up here. 64 blocks should get them up here. First person again will get the prize, which was in his map, but this glass area was not. I wanted them to know what, when they would stop. Okay, so um, yeah, I just thought about something now that I'm up here. I might need to put a ladder in here so they can get down. I'm going to get down this way. Well, actually, I can fly, so it doesn't matter. I might have to figure that out. Anyway, you can imagine that this would look awfully cool if each kid had a different colored um, piece of wool and they were graphing as fast as they could. Anyway, practice. Then we come over here to the actual quest, all right, which is after each round, we're going to come back here and collect. So, Elfie, me, uh, myself, Elfie, and Matt had worked together one night in a collaborative effort. If you haven't done this with people, I would suggest try it because it was it was probably the best experience I've had so far in Minecraft. Um, I had started out with Mr. Harvey's map and I wanted to change it to make it a little more scientific versus con like a control group versus an experimental group and which would open up huge amounts of discussion f afterwards. So we came up with this idea of the wood farm versus the natural forest. Okay. Now in the original map, kids were just told to go out in the forest and farm wood and then we'll come back for a certain amount of time and then we'd come back and we would graph it okay, using a certain tool. All right, so um, let's talk about the tools. So first of all, you'll see here, this is the graphing arena. And here I have numbered this. I like these numbering, this numbering way better than just a regular sign. This is actually just a label with the Minecraft number blocks in it. So one, two, three, four, all the way down to 16 will be my control group. They will work in the wood farm, which is this building right here. The rest of the students, 17, I have some up towards of 34 students sometimes, so I made up to 34. Uh, the rest of them will actually go farm any of these trees in here. By the way, I created these trees using the world editing map uh, command, uh, which is uh, forest gen, which is awesome. <laughs> I didn't have to plant each tree and grow it. I just hit it and poof, there was a forest. Okay, um, so anyway, the map's original creator, um, this was to graph what you could what you could uh, collect in wood with your bare hands, then with a wood axe, then with a stone axe. Um, I switched these, no, no, then with an iron axe, I'm sorry, and then I switched these two. Originally this was diamond and this was gold, but I put gold first and then I put diamond last. Um, I'm kind of seeing what will happen. There's kind of a surprise in here and I kind of want to see what happens uh, when we do this. All right, anyway. So, heading back here, let's take a look, a closer look at the, the wood farm that um, Elfie had created with me, or Elfie and Matt had helped me create. All right, hello, Dr. Wade. Again, I use the numbering, so this number matches the number that they would see on their, on their pad for graphing. So kids would start here, and let's say that we wanted them to uh, barehanded for the first round. They would just barehanded. Oops, <laughs> of course I have my um, creative mode on. They would actually just bare hand and collect as much as they possibly could. Okay. Um, this map or this building I've made a schematic of. So if I stand here, load my schematic and hit paste, everything that you see right now is going to paste in there. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the signs. I'll have to test that. Um, anyway, so that means that in between each round of, of uh, axes, I can replace that entire wood farm instantly. And then while the kids are graphing, I can go out there and do the farm gen command and recreate the entire forest again as well. That, that alleviates the, um, the problem that we were thinking of where kids would have to run farther to get to more trees, run farther and run back. Okay. As far as the timing goes, uh, this is my fancied version of, um, of a timer that Elfie had created with me. Okay. So I don't know what Mr. Harvey was originally using. Maybe he was just actually timing himself. But we created this redstone timer. So what will happen is this dispenser will drop out a red um, redstone block. And it will flow down these spider webs and hit that plate at the bottom. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I will hit this timer. 
you'll see down at the bottom it says start chopping you see the red what has happened now is that it's allowed um, the command the command block is the game rule do tile drops true which means as the kids farm they will actually get the item that they they farm when it gets to the bottom it's going to stay stop it's going to say stop chopping and it'll change the game rule to false which means that even if they continue to chop they won't actually get any extra pieces of wood so they'll only be able to collect what they can can collect and i believe this timer goes about to a minute and 30 seconds okay so after they've done that they will come over here they will go back to their block with bare hands and they will continue or they will start to graph they are their the amount of wood only the amount of wood that they have in their hands in their inventory and then they would continue it with all the different types of axes. What we're looking at is experimenting with the uh, efficiency of the different axes, okay? Um, while graphing, of course, at the same time. So this timer was awesome. And then, of course, I added this here to tell me which ID number so that I can give all of the students the proper axe when I need to. Um, originally, the map had the kids crafting axes, but. Um, I think we're going to have the crafting in another in another tutorial type map and this I'm just going to give them the axe and boom let them go and uh, I've talked to okay so you see down at the bottom it said stop chopping return to the quickly to the graphing area arena so they'll all run over here and we'll start graphing okay I think I'm going to adjust this eventually and make this even better so like I'm gonna have a button here and that button will be attached to a command block and the command block will just instantly give all the kids that axe and that act so I don't have to do any kind of typing or anything like that just boom 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 I might actually hmm thinking right now make it a two-step button one step is to clear inventory the next step is to give them the axe that way they're totally starting fresh from the beginning anyway this was just a short video I wanted to kind of demonstrate this video for uh, some of the people that have been watching my grade 3 and grade 4 CCSS standards in the lab videos so those lab videos that little tiny lab area becomes this big type of event area for the kids um, and so I wanted to explain how I had I envisioned the kids working like this so this is the kids of course working in individuals I would also have different projects where the kids would work as a group and then they would um, of course produce or do something like that uh, as a group but that's, of course, for another video. So thank you for watching. Uh, if there's any questions, please post in the comments, and I'll get back to you. Um, and if there's anything else you'd like to see, please let me know. All right, thank you.